Hey, it's Corey Knight with Classroom Tech Made Simple, and I'd like to share this picture with you. Uh, this is a picture that's pretty special to me. This is when I proposed to my wife at the Indiana State Fair, and recently we have went back and we actually took our daughter on her first trip to this exact spot, and it's really special to me and my wife. Uh, so I just like to share those little bits and pieces about me so that you can feel a little bit more comfortable from learning from me. So let's go ahead and get started today with, with using QR codes in the classroom. Now, if you don't know what QR codes are, they're those funny looking things that sometimes you will see all over the place. Um, and what you can do is you can scan using your iPhone, using your pretty much any smartphone, using your iPad. And now you don't even have to download an app. So we're going to go into how to use your camera using your iPad to scan these QR codes. And what it does is it will send you through the internet or the web to a certain website or a certain direction after you scan those QR codes. So QR code generators, if you just do a simple Google search, it allows you to find a free QR code generator. There are literally thousands of them out there. Now, with the new iOS 11 update or later, you can capture QR codes using your camera, which is a huge benefit. Now you don't have to mess around with downloading an app where students are asking you, hey, is it this one? Which one should I use? Or maybe some of them don't function properly. So now you can just use your camera if you have the iOS 11 update or later. One app that I do know that works really well in the classroom is Crafter, and it allows you to generate QR codes and create them yourself and also read QR codes. And it has a really good zooming function, so those students that are in the back, sometimes they need to zoom in so that they can scan those QR codes. It really is helpful and beneficial to students. Now, sometimes we get these huge long URLs, and Google has a tool out there called goo.gl. It allows you to shorten these URLs and make them easier when you're putting them into your browser or sharing. So that's another thing that we're going to go over in this QR code lesson. Okay, so QR codes in the classroom. So one thing that some teachers like to do is they like to create scavenger hunts using QR codes where they have to go throughout different parts of the classroom and they have to scan these QR codes and complete a certain task. One thing that I would suggest is that I would print these off and then I would hang these in different spots of the classroom. It's a really fun activity. A simple Google search will show you all kinds of activities and a lot of them are already made. Using QR codes allows you to simplify your instruction and it will help to avoid any confusion. I can't tell you how many times I've told students to go to a website and they end up at the wrong place. And if I use a QR code, it will send them directly to that specific website that I want them to go to. And finally, GOO. Dot gl is a great way to shorten those eurls for any presentation so it's something that in a presentation maybe to staff if you're doing some sort of staff development or if you're just presenting to your students shortening those urls is a great way to simplify your presentation one thing that i want to share with everyone is that you do get a free pdf download on using qr codes in the classroom and in this, I give a brief overview of using QR codes in the classroom. And I also give you the link to the App Store for Crafter. And then I also give the hyperlinks to goo.gl and QR Voice. So feel free to use that in the classroom. Feel free to print that off or save it to your desktop or even save it to your iPad. It's yours to use. Okay, for this next part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the QR code reader that is already pre-installed on the camera using iOS 11. And then I'm also going to show you how to use Crafter using an iPad. Okay, so before we start with our QR code generator from an iPad using the iOS 11 update or later, I'm going to show you how to find a good QR code reader using Google. Now, if I just open up Google and I just type in QR code generator, the first result is a really good QR code that I would trust to use. So just go ahead and click on that, and I'm just using my desktop. Now if you sign up for this, you'll find out that you'll have a lot more different options and features available, but for most QR code generators, all you want to do is just take your audience to a particular website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another tab here, and I'm going to go back to Google. And say that I'm trying to take my audience to a website on hydrological dams. So I've already looked at this one before, I know it's a credible source, I'm going to copy this URL up here. And then I'm going to go back to my QR code generator and just paste it right here in the website URL box. Click the green 
create QR code and you will see that it has created this QR code for me. I can download it into a JPEG or a different file and it's an easy way for you to create a QR code. Okay, now from my iPad, I'm going to show you how I'm going to go to that website using my camera. So I just open up my camera and I point it at that QR code. You can see it right here. You see at the top there where it says Open International Rivers? Click on that and it will take you right directly to that website. What an easy way to use your iPad and use the QR code generator that's already preloaded into your camera. It's an awesome update. I encourage everyone to use this because it's so simple. You don't have to download an app or anything like that. Next, we're going to take a look at how to create a QR code using the app Crafter. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the app Crafter. So it's right here. And I'm going to go ahead and open this app. If you haven't already downloaded it, feel free to go to the App Store and download Crafter. Okay, this is a very, very simple app. Where it says scan with camera that's literally all you're going to do when you first open it it's going to ask you to allow to use your camera you're going to have to go ahead and verify that where it says scan from photo albums that's if you have a qr code saved in your photo albums um, it only works for those that are already saved in there so that's something else that you can do with crafter okay so if you want to uh, scan with camera you're just going to click scan with camera it shows you the four different types of barcodes also with a QR code that you can scan. One of the great things that I really like is that it has this really nice zooming feature where you can zoom in or zoom out. It also gives you the opportunity to batch scan if you're gonna do a whole bunch of scans in a row. That's a useful tool with Crafter as well. So that's how you scan with Crafter. Now, if you wanna create your own QR code. Now it gives you all kinds of different options here like I said in the previous part of this tutorial, you just want to use mainly for URLs. But if you want to go ahead and explore some of these different options and features with Crafter, you can go with all kinds of different features that you can create QR codes, locations, a contact card, kind of like a business card, an email address, uh, things like that. So we're just going to go ahead for this tutorial, talk about how to create a QR code for an address. An, you're going to see when you open this up and you tap that button, it's going to give you the first part of that website. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Safari and open up Google. I just love how Google changes their logo all the time. It's so cool. So let's go to that same website that we were talking about earlier, about hydrological power and hydrological dams. I spelled it wrong, but it still pulled up the right, the right one. Okay. So I come up here and I can either just highlight and copy this, but with the new iOS update, I noticed this and I learned this the other day. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to pull up crafter and I'm going to pull, then I'm going to pull up my, I'm going to multitask with Safari and it's going to pull up that website that I just talked about. Now this is cool. The drag and drop features are awesome. I can just double click this again and just click copy and then paste it over there. If that's more comfortable for you, that's fine. I just wanted to share this really quick. I can now drag and drop this website right there. So you can see how easy it is to copy and paste these. I'm going to get rid of this for now. I click the create button and because it's the free version, it's going to give you an ad. And you can see right there that I have created my first QR code using Crafter. If I want to share this, save it to my camera roll, print it, upload it to iCloud Drive, email it, whatever I want to do, I just hit the share button. I can go through some different settings. I can change the colors of it. There are all kinds of options with Crafter. So that's how you use Crafter. It's very simple. It's very easy. One of the cool things I like is that it gives you the history of all of your different QR codes that you have created. You can see that I have used different QR codes using Crafter. So you can go back and see the ones that you've made before. It keeps track of them for you in the history button in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, last but not least, let's learn about how to shorten URLs using Google's URL shortener. So I'm going to open up another tab. And I'm just going to open up Google because it's just easier for me. 
and I'm going to type in goo.gl. You click on that first result, and you're going to see where it allows you to simplify your links. So, once again, if I just want to share a simple link, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this long URL code, go back to the goo.gl. I type it in here and I paste it. You got to confirm that you're not a robot. And then it's going to give you these various confirmations. Hey, it looks like I'm not a robot. Great job. Okay, so right there you can see that I have shortened that URL. And this is my new code right here and I just click this copy short URL and you can see now that I can come over here and paste my short URL in a new tab and it's going to take me directly there. So that is something that you can do to shorten your, your URLs. Just notice that there are different uh, capitals and lowercase and there's some numbers in there. That's how Google uses their URL shortener. So that is something that you can do and you can utilize as well. This concludes our lesson on QR codes in the classroom. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at Corey at classroomtechmadesimple.com.